Hey, good morning. So I'm thinking out loud today on this update. We're going to get to some baits in just a little bit. But I'm thinking out loud because I have been racking my brains this morning on problem solving. So I have a subscriber. Shout out to Man's Outdoors. He's a C5, C6 quadriplegic and he has very limited use of his hands. And we're looking at solutions for stenciling for him. I don't know that he's able to wrap a bait with mesh. I don't know what the exact limitations of your hands are. Uh, I know he's made some comments and he is here on YouTube. He's one of my, one of my public subscribers um, that your hands and your fingers curl. But what I'm thinking about is something where you would slide a flat stencil in because I know we have, um, so these things here, we've talked about these and there are a number of companies where you can just grab a crankbait, drop these in. This one's from Jonah Summers, um, across the pond in Australia. And these are some of my older ones. Uh, he's since made more and sets and I've given stuff away to you guys on, uh, on a lot of giveaways. But something like this would be fairly easy to manipulate as far as hard stencils are concerned. But if we're talking flat stencils or homemade stencils, I'm thinking of some, like building a frame that you could actually slide this into something like this. Or um, if we're if we're talking the way that these come from this particular or stencils in general, it would almost have to be a frame with two sides that slide in or out because you can't you don't want to just build it for one size because stencils are various sizes from various companies but you almost want something that you can drop it down into and maybe even manipulate it to where you can bend it and then pull up your helping hands help your crankbait behind it maybe i don't know if i'm even making any sense um but something like that, I think, would help. So we're going to continue. I've reached out to the community. I've reached out to a number of lure groups on Facebook and Man's Outdoor. If you're listening to this, check them out on Facebook. Hit me up, Jen Cravasi. Um, I'm very accessible. I can't always get back to you as soon as possible. But it's something that, that is just burning a hole in me trying to figure out how to help you. So we're going to figure something out. But the way these stencils come, they usually come with some sort of frame. Um, now this one is not from Brian Best, but there are several that he has that I just, and I cut them, I cut them out because it's easier for me to hold them up without a stiff frame because I'm kind of moving them around. But for somebody with limitations on their hand movements, that's not going to hold water. So this is something that Brian has sent me and I now have a mess between Russ Allen and, and Insane and the wheels and these. But something like this, you could probably just drop down. Um, let's reach out to the community. And uh, welcome. This is your Weekender Shop Update. I'm in the midst of another upload. We lost power yesterday here at Bullshad. Um, so I kind of... Ah, I went away. No! Shoot. Okay, so I got to start that again. All right, um, I've got a ASMR. I spent a lot of time on a really skinny creek in the middle of the Appalachian National Forest um, a couple of weekends ago, and I'm very excited to, um, hang on a second, just bear with me here. There we go. Um, very excited to bring that to you. It's going to be a full eight hours of nothing but beautiful Appalachian Forest streams. And that's for me. I do stuff for me too. Um, I love doing stuff for you, but something that gives me pleasure just to have on in the background sometimes when I'm working is mountain forest and birds and stream babbling brook type deal. So while that's going and building, um, we'll move on. So on this one... This is an 8-inch Bullshad Shad Glide in a New England crappie pattern. This has not been cleared yet, so we're going to clear that at some point this morning um, upstairs in the clear room. And I'm going to 
there, yes, we have a room at Bullshad, which is really cool. It was built out originally by Mike himself, and then when Kevin Faneff came down from New Hampshire, he spent a considerable amount of time readjusting it, uh, renovating it, and making it much more functional. So shout out to Kevin Faneff on that as well. And I'll show you that uh, here in just a second. But these were run yesterday. Um, we're getting ready for the grand opening in the storefront. So the storefront is coming along. Pretty stoked about that. We are clean. We are geared up. We are ready to host you guys. And our grand opening here at the Bullshad Storefront is going to be April 16th at 11 a.m. Everybody is welcome. We hope to see your smiling faces here. Um, very excited about that as well. So we have almost 1,200 customs for you guys. And there's more that are coming off the clear coat racks this weekend. So lots and lots and lots of stuff going on. These are just a few pieces that I'm playing around with. Yes, I still do crankbaits. I still do orders uh, on www.jekyllbaits.com. But I also have some special edition stuff that I'm probably going to do a one-off drop on pretty soon in the next couple of weeks. So some just some fun concepty type stuff good for spring i love these wake baits they have a great action they have great movement they've got awesome knock in them and then this is an order it's one of those little s dudes so this is actually for me it was a mistake bait and then i just kind of fixed it and won it for pre-spawn down here in georgia because the spawn is pretty much going to be on here shortly you can can generally tell when the dogwoods are in bloom the spawn is on in georgia and a lot of the places now higher mountain elevations like lanier carters um some of the other smaller impoundments it might be a little bit later and then this is a uh, little perchy little fathead and these things are quite popular overseas I've seen them used very successfully in uh, some of the, the perch tournaments. And yeah, somehow I managed to get all seven lines on these things. Wasn't easy because there's not a whole lot of real estate. But uh, nice little perch there for you guys. So let me show you what Kevin Faneff rebuilt that Mike had started. This is our clear coat room. This completely zips down. We've got two racks in here right now. They clear coat the regular bull shads as well. There's nothing proprietary that I cannot show you. And then into the wall, we have a wonderful, huge, like sucks the wind out of the entire building fan that goes all the way to the outside. So it's just like an auto spray booth, a um, little bit smaller. And that's what's up. And look at that. So this was round two of clear coat. We've got one more to go. I'm going to add some pieces to it this morning. But uh, this is one of the pieces for Big Gus at Swimbait Culture that will be going out the door soon. It is Swimbait Love Theme Tie-Dye 2022 from yours truly. And this is going to be raffled off. Um, and auctioned for charity for Autism Awareness Month, which is this month. So um, be on the lookout for all that good stuff coming to a website near you. And then over here, we have got some herring. I've got some olive back herring. Very simple patterns. Uh, there is some pink in here, some flash pink iridescence. And then on this side, Mike is calling this the chartreuse. It's got a lot of flash in it and a little bit of background scaling. So gearing up for you guys on April 16th, come one, come all, 11 to 5. We've got the grand reopening for the season of the Bullshad Store. The rest of the hours are going to be announced by Mike and manager Tyler in the coming days. So stick with it. Stay tuned. That's a John B. And I am out of here. See you guys. Have a great day and cheers. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates at Bullshad. I know you guys saw it there. You thought I wouldn't hit it.